Welcome back. Right now, hundreds of people are preparing to face the cold and sleep outside with the homeless. That's right. The seventh annual sleep out is happening right now. 41 NBC's Jatrissa Wooten is live outside of Tent City with details on how this sleep out will help the homeless and daybreak. Jatrissa. Shelby Tucker, we're still here at daybreak in making for their annual sleep out again in its seventh year. I'm sitting here with Ms. Janice Haley. She's been uh, participating every year. Ms. Janice, tell us what brings you back every single year. Well, this is the biggest fundraiser they have for daybreak, and I always want to be a part of it. Plus, it's kind of fun to sleep out. Even if it's cold, it's fun to sleep out. I love that. And do you feel like there is a sense of, of unionship here when you're out here? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, we have fire, fire pits going all over, and it gives us a real good opportunity to meet people and talk about what the situations are. Some of the homeless participants are here, and we get to know them and know what their stories are, which are always amazing to me. And so speaking of that, kind of staying on that topic, I mean, how do you feel knowing that these folks have to stay out here um, nights and nights on end? It's, it's a terrible state of affairs. We shouldn't have this situation, and we're hoping to find a solution to it. And this is one of the ways we, that Macon is addressing it. Absolutely. And then talk about this just being a fundraiser as well. You guys are raising money. Yes, in fact, um, it's getting bigger and bigger every year. I think we made, we're hoping to make $160,000 this year, maybe wow. more. So uh, it's a very, very good fundraiser. I love that. And I mean, where's all this money going to go? Where are you, where are you guys going to send the money? Well, Daybreak is uh, a day resource center for the homeless. They can come in and have showers and um, use computers and con call home, get counseling, mm -hmm. take, uh, have their laundry done. They take a little break from the rough life they live. Nice. And so as you guys can see, you can come to Daybreak um, all, you know, to get your services and a handful of residents are still getting their tents together, so come on down. In Macon, Detrissa Wooten, 41 NBC News. All righty. Thank you, Detrissa. You see all the tents up. People yeah. are starting to make their way there. I know registration started at 6, and then the program starts at 7. Yeah, it's located downtown if you're wondering. Uh, last year, it was, I feel like, I don't know if you remember correctly, but yeah, I feel like it was very warm, and it seemed like, well, they'll have a good night as far as weather goes, but tonight, it's going to be pretty chilly. It's gonna be